Welcome to A Course in Miracles with a whole Pano Pano lens. We're on lesson 305 out of the workbook. There is a peace that Christ bestows on us. Who uses but Christ's vision finds a peace so deep and quiet, undisturbable and wholly changeless that the world contains no counterpart. Comparisons are still before this peace, and all the world departs in silence as this peace envelopes it and gently carries it to truth, no more to be the home of fear, for love has come and healed the world by giving it Christ's peace. Father, the peace of Christ is given us because it is your will that we be saved. Help us today but to accept your gift and judge it not, for it has come to us to save us from our judgment on ourselves. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I get the peace, like right now I am in that peace. I was um, talking with a friend and we had a great joining where I felt my heart just swell up with love and we both felt the presence of God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, I'm still feeling the effects of that peace. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And so um, we can get to that felt state of peace by doing Ho'oponopono, I'm sorry, to divinity. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. Or you can just say, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Or thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And what I'm hearing is when you're making a decision and you're not having the peace, do Ho'oponopono or try to sit still until you can get the peace because the peace is where you want the inspiration to come from. You want your decisions to come from the felt state of peace. If you do make decisions and anxiety, the consequences might be different than if you were to make a decision in peace. So for instance, you know, I asked the Holy Spirit certain things. Should I eat this cake, for instance? And if I, you know, what is my motivation behind it? Am I feeling anxious? Am I trying to cover up anger? For instance, I don't eat a lot of cake these days, um, but just giving you an example, even with um, shopping, you guys, you know, I love books. If you've been looking at this channel for a length of time last year, I had my 50 book reading challenge and um, I was wanting to buy a book about Psalms. And I'm still thinking about it and, you know, asking on it. But a lot of times I will add it to my cart just so I can have it saved. But I don't purchase it because I want to make sure I'm purchasing it in the spirit of peace. In that peaceful felt state. Because I don't need any more books. Technically, I do have a great library. I have a physical library and I have my Kindle library. Um, you guys know that I shop on BookBub. And there's the other one, uh, Librarian. Let me know if you want these websites. I can link them below. Um, it's The website for the Librarian one is not quite it, but it's kind of like it. Um, but I can't think of the name right now. It's not coming for me right now but let me know and I get free Kindle books emailed to me on a weekly basis um, and but when I had a chunk of time all I did was shop for free books so I have a library on my Kindle 
of over 4,000 books. I don't know if I'm going to be able to read all those books this lifetime. But the point being is I don't really need any more books. What I enjoy about the Psalms book, because I was looking at the preview, it's talking about different uses for the Psalms. And you guys know that I've been studying the Psalms if you've been watching my more recent videos. And so there's that draw, but it's like, okay, Holy Spirit, do I buy this book? Am I going to use it? And so um, it's sitting in the cart and I haven't had a definitive answer as of yet. And um, I most likely won't buy it. But where I'm at in this point in my life, I'm at the point of making decisions. I want to be in the peaceful felt state as much as possible not buying because I want to be a hoarder, not buying because I would just want to consume even more information, not buying just for the book to sit on myself, on my shelf, excuse me, <laughs> maybe myself, you know. Um, but what am I buying the book for? Do, and maybe I do need to buy it. Do I need to give it as a gift, you know? So these are some of the considerations, and I turn that over to my divinity, my higher self, so that um, I make a good decision, a right decision, a pono decision. Um, pono in Hawaiian means right, and ho'oponopono is that double rightness. So, um, And I forgot what ho and then o or ho means but pono pono means right right and so I really want to be making a decision from divinity from inspiration so on and so forth so that's where I'm at uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments I'm going to go ahead and close out the video I need to do some forgiveness work and so I want to look at that thank you so much I appreciate you and I'll talk to you later. Bye.